All right, so solving this problem. Um, I'm, what I'm gonna do is take the conjugate at the bottom here. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by one plus sine squared theta. So I get one plus sine theta on top squared. And then down here, what it ends up being difference of squares. So one minus sine squared theta. And I'm gonna convert this into cosine squared theta because that's a property. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this out. Um, <clears throat> I get one plus two sine theta plus sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. So let's see here. And if you rewrite this as one over cosine squared theta plus two sine squared sine theta was that two sine theta it was two sine theta um, same thing as secant squared theta plus two secant theta tangent theta plus tangent squared theta, which is the same thing as secant theta plus tangent theta squared. All right. That's how you prove that right there. Um, I hope that helps you out. Have a great day.